Hi guys, um, sorry for the late video, but I just remembered I hadn't done one today. Um, quick update on my mum, she's doing fine, she's wanting to come over. And she's told the staff uh, she's going to do a runner. <laughs> my mum was only five foot, I think, something like that. But she's like, yeah, stop me or watch me. She's quite fine. <laughs> she's getting back to her normal self because I did a video call earlier with my sister up there and she started swearing. <laughs> like, you're back to normal. So hopefully the doctors will have some good news tomorrow and maybe let her home. But however, we do need to contact her GP. Sorry. Uh, I need to contact the GP at home to review a medication that she's on for her antidepressant because that's obviously stopped working um i feel like it's proper drained i'm absolutely shattered Ugh. so when i did that vlog what yesterday and i had a rant well i received the message i didn't even look at the message i saw the name of the person that sent me it and i thought you know what i can't be dealing with you or your family, so block, delete, so I didn't even read it, I knew what it was going to be, they think they're better than everybody else, you... well, can I just do this and then I'll sort something out, but yeah, everyone has a family member that thinks they're better than everyone else, or is it just my family that's deranged, <laughs> no they're not, um no it's just certain members of my family that think they're better than everybody else i think they have the right to know everybody's business and it winds me up now i i've been that person that just sits there and lets everyone mouth off and i do some use what's that oh is that out of the back a bit ago um and i sit there and i take it and i take it well yesterday i thought you know what no more i'm going to stick up for myself i'm going to stick up for my mum because at the minute she's unable to do that for herself believe me she can because she's had a go at them herself a few years back because they were starting on another family member about a certain whatever it was but anyway that got dealt with and i ought to god to just back off and leave her alone because you can't just come back into someone's life like not, you've not done nothing wrong. <sighs> Winds me up, really does. And it's, I've let it, so I've got to cheer. <laughs> Don't like to please. Um, yeah, you can't just turn up to someone's house and just expect to just walk back in like you've not done all wrong. do not work like that, does it? Well... <laughs> I'm not even gonna uh, yeah so today I just feel like I've just I hadn't see, visited my mum but I did a video call with my sister uh, she was like oh let me see um, Olivia so I went to show because she's not seen Olivia for a while and uh, so I went in and Olivia got a bit camera shy so she hid I went oh so I'll show you Hannah so I took her in, my camera in and showed Hannah. Hannah was away knitting away. Because she, she did a lovely thing for my mum. She knitted some, like, not gloves that cover the fingers, but enough to keep her hands warm because my mum has circulation problems. So that would be nice to see her wearing them again today because I put one on her yesterday, but I didn't put it on her right hand because she was eating. Well, she makes me laugh. She goes, I've not been fed since I've been here. I said, you've been here like a week now. You have been fed because I've been here when you've had some. <laughs> and I've made sure you've, I've stayed over my welcome because you're only allowed an hour. <laughs> but I'm not saying no. If they don't notice I've been here for more than an hour, I'm not saying no. But obviously I, I did after an hour and a an half yesterday, I thought I'd better go because that's just taking the pee. Um, so I can't see my mum now till I like it. I put camera on dog and she goes, Oh, no, you can't see me. Uh, so I can't see my mum now till Tuesday because my brother has got a visit tomorrow and my sister's got one in the afternoon. Hopefully, cross fingers, 
It's going to come up. Got me yawning now, Billy. Look. Me, 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 me. <laughs> yeah, so I'm sat here in the dark, well, not in the dark, but with a lamp on, um, debating should I go to bed early tonight or what? Because <laughs> I'm absolutely shattered. I didn't get up till about 11 o'clock today, but I, it was one of them sleeps where you just awake, but you're not, you just got your eyes shut, resting your eyes. I used to say that a lot when I was younger, when I just had Anna as a baby, he was. And I used to go to my mum's because I lived about three or four doors down because it, there was someone renting it. And I thought, oh, that'll be close to my mum. So, and with Olivia, Anna, I thought, oh, you know, I was absolutely. Oh, sorry. It's that time of night. I was absolutely drained. So, I thought, oh, my mum would want to see babies. So, <laughs> I used to fall asleep on Seti. But yeah, my mum brought up a memory of her being as a, as a child, just of what it yesterday, yeah. And I'm like, how do you remember that? But you don't know what you did two minutes ago. <laughs> it's strange that because I'm exactly the same. I can remember what happened to me when I was five year old and I'm, I can re recollect me standing out on the street waiting for my nana to turn up and I had a red t-shirt on. But I couldn't tell you what I did earlier today. Sorry, I got my earphones because I've been watching TikToks. So my mum goes, because I said to her, do you want another cat? Because I, I was just joking. I think you can have one of mine, them little rascals, my kittens. Because, oh no, I'm all right with one I've got. And that's when she piped up about, oh, I had a cat when I were a kid and my dad used to hit it and do all sorts to it. And I was only allowed to hold it when it was hurt. I thought, Oh, that's a sad memory to think about, isn't it? Um, I said, yeah, but that's not nice, is it? So I was like, try. I didn't know what to say to her. It sounds like she goes to phrases where she'd sort normal and sounds like a child talking, if you know what I mean. Our child would describe the situation. So I'm like, sorry if you can hear shouting in the background, it's neighbours. I've, I've had to have the window open because I'm having a hot flush. But my blood test saying that I'm not going through the change. It's just my, I think it's my thyroid because you can overheat on your thyroid as well, isn't it? So, oh no, I've got to go there. Oh, sorry, I've got to go back on the 16th for an ECG and a blood test again. So I'm not looking forward to that. I think that's this week as well. So. You're not looking forward to that. And it's not that, it's the fact that I don't like getting me, you know, showing bits of my body when they're doing that. I, I'm, I'm body, I feel like I'm body conscious. I don't like showing my body. It's just me, I've always been like that. It's, and they all say, you have a baby, you don't care who sees what, well I do. You know, I'm quite <laughs> modest that way. I don't, I, no, no, you not. Keep everything covered. <laughs> but yeah, so we'll hopefully get some good news tomorrow when the doctors do the round because she's we get the results. My sister, who's a nurse who lives in Scotland, or oh, she's she's gone back up to Scotland. Uh, she's gonna ring up tomorrow and find out the results. And I said, can you? Yeah, that's great. Can then you can tell us in, in, in easy English whatever those posh words are. <coughs> Oh, right guys, I'm going to have to go, someone's at the door. See you later.